synagogue on the Sabbath day, as was his custom, and there was a man there with a shriveled hand. Well, some of the religious leaders were also there and wondering if they could catch Jesus healing on the Sabbath and accuse him of breaking the Sabbath law. Well, Jesus said to the man with a shriveled hand, stand up here in front of everybody. He did so. He asked the leaders, which is lawful on the Sabbath, to do good or to do evil, to save life or to kill? Well, they remained silent. So he looked at them, the Bible says, with anger. You don't see that very often described to Jesus. But he looked on him with anger, and he was distressed how stubborn they were. And so he said to the man with the shriveled hand, stretch forth your hand. And as he did it, it was completely restored. Those leaders didn't understand what the Sabbath was for. They thought it was sort of like punishment or like a timeout. And they didn't want anybody else having fun on that day if they couldn't have fun on that day. It was kind of a childlike view of it. But really, the Sabbath was meant to be a time to stop all our money-making activity, all our work, and just take a little time to thank God for his blessing, to reconnect with him, to worship him. Jesus said that man was not made for the Sabbath, but the Sabbath was made for man. It's a time to seek God, to trust Him. We work hard all the time to make a living. God made the Sabbath so we could come apart for a little bit and get to know Him a little bit better. Acknowledge that without Him, we can't do anything. What better time than that Sabbath to receive healing? What better time than that Sabbath to receive forgiveness or to receive deliverance from habits or addictions or whatever the problem is. The Sabbath was to come near to God. And when you come near to God, when you seek Him, miracles happen. Well, I know you all have just come out to a roping that this is a church. Come near to him. And if you need something, while we pray here in a minute, ask him. Because he's here. And he knows your name. And he knows that you're here. Open your heart to him. Ask him to come in. And he'll meet your needs. And he'll begin to fix what's wrong inside. He'll begin to give you a new life. Let's pray. Jesus, I thank you that you're here you're among us, that you're in this place. I thank you that you've called these people here, that you've made this divine appointment for them. I thank you that as they open their hearts to you, as they ask you to meet their needs, that you're doing it already, because it's your desire to do that, because you're for us, you're not against us. You want to bless us, and heal us, and save us. I thank you for that. Father, I thank you for everybody here, that you'll keep us all safe, there'll be no harm, no injuries, that we'll have a safe trip home. We commit ourselves to you in Jesus' name, amen.